Here are five modifications that have improved our Avid CNC. Avid provides a vector file to help with mounting the spoil board to the CNC with this uh, adding the bolts and everything. Uh, after that, we customize it with um, the T slot bolt, the T slot uh, bit, helping us being able to clamp everything down. And then lastly, we added the 2x2 two two grid to make sure we keep everything aligned as we're um, carving everything. For the clamping system, we went with some customization stuff. Uh, we created our own clamps using V-Carve. Uh, we got this inspiration from fellow YouTubers and other designs and everything. So far, it's been really great. Um, adding the skateboard grip tape has really helped with holding everything down. Next up, we have uh, the addition of the dust collection boot. Uh, this one is a design from Pete Square 23. Shout out to him. Uh, by far, in our opinion, probably the best uh, dust collection boot. Uh, the reason we really like it is how it circles just around the actual anvil of the CNC. It doesn't stick out to the sides like the other ones. Um, you see a lot of time with the other ones on the sides, it won't actually dust collect if it actually goes over the edge of the piece, causing you know the dust not to get collected. Included in the dust boot um, is the mounting system that we have for our dust toes. For this one, we took inspiration from a Phantom with their overarm design. We didn't really have that ability, but we uh, modified or kind of created our own design, having just these little posts with holding the hose up. We didn't really want to mount anything to the ceiling or anything like that, so we thought that this was a better one, and so far this has worked out pretty great. On the front of the frame, one of the additions we have is the um, 3D printed mounting plate for the Avid Touch Plate. Uh, we found this on Thingiverse. Um, we really like it. It has the little loop for the cable as well as just um, a secure space for the touch plate. The addition that we have to the front is also these drawers. Um, these drawers are pretty cool. Uh, these are kind of our own design. On the left hand side it's holding all of our mounts, brackets, calipers, stuff like that. On the right hand side we actually have all of our bit storage. This is an inspiration from uh, the Avid file that they give you. Um, I kind of took that one and kind of took it into uh, VCarve and modified everything to kind of fit how we needed it to work. The final addition to this uh, CNC is the slab storage. Uh, this has helped a lot with stabilization and deflection with the CNC. Um, the Avid comes with uh, an aluminum frame or you can make your own obviously. But uh, with the aluminum frame it's very lightweight so that helps a lot with shipping. But because of that, with the bolts and everything, it does um, have more deflection or kind of movement than other CNC's. But adding all those weights to the bottom has actually kind of pretty much reduced that to um, unnoticeable amounts. It's been really helpful. Let us know what you think of these modifications in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.